I didn't know you were watching, sorry. Uh, welcome to the new episode of The Lab. Today we're talking about contact. And uh, it, it's a very important topic that tilts the fuck out of me uh, when, when I play ranked and people have no idea what they do. With the fact that someone calls, let's play contact. Contact have, can have two different contexts though. It can be as an attack strategy and we're going to cover that at a different point today we're going to talk about playing contact in a post plant situation so first we're going to uh, go to fracture uh mini map here uh and explain what is happening red team is attacking on the a site and they are now have the have the plant done onto a default and they have three players on site one is in the corner one is main and one is on top site the players, the opponents, were gonna come from CT, from Sands, maybe also from Dish. Now it's very important to understand the order in which the players that are on site should be contacting, and that's the keyword, the enemies, right? Because the thing is that most people will do is this guy gonna go and she's dead. She's gonna peek and die and those two players are gonna be useless. Right? Well, instead, the sky should be waiting for contact, keyword, from the omen. How come? Right? Most likely, the killer is going to have set up a bot for that she's not going to get pushed from A main. Let's assume that no one opened the doors and so on. So everyone is coming from this direction and it's a four, four man retake. And this is not a hard thing to actually um, win in post plant if played properly played properly means that this omen is first contact. Uh, why is this draw so transparent? It's so transparent like my ideas. Here we go. This man here, or woman, is the first point of contact. That means that players that are co gonna come into his eyesight, right, will gonna make sure that uh, anyone else from the attackers is not peeking before that moment. Because when Omen sees an opponent, that gives a trigger for the Sky and for the Killjoy to swing and have a trade or rescue the Omen from this unfortunate situation that he got himself in, right? If we do it in the other way around and we wait, for example, for the Killjoy to have contact, well, then Omen might not be prepared to trade because he's just going to get killed without being, uh, you know, without having, having any help from the killjoy. If the sky peaks before uh, before the omen has contact, those people will just look at, a, at her and just kill her most likely, and then the omen will have to wide swing from this hidden position or from the main to even have a possibility to, to, to trade, and that is too far away. When we're in the game, it makes more sense to see that, right? Let's say I'm the killjoy, I planted here, in this spot, right, the omen is gonna be our turret, he's gonna stand in this position, and I'm gonna wait for the turret to start shooting, in this case, omen. If I'm gonna stand like this, as you can see, the omen is not able to help me, because when I'm gonna have a contact with a player standing in this position, the omen would have to wide swing like this and expose himself first to this angle. That is most likely where other players that are doing retake are gonna just hold it. So, Essentially, the killjoy baits the omen into swinging, and that results in the third player just killing the omen when he wants to trade a person that is standing here, right? Who kills the killjoy in this position. And that is very important to understand that there's a specific order that just applies everywhere in game, right? And of course, there are going to be counters to it. Someone can just smoke a main, but they don't always have a smoke, right? You have to pay attention. You have to be creative. If they have no smoke player, you can call it. Phoenix can use a wall, and you have to adjust. Like, let's say, for example, let's assume uh, there's going to be Brimstone instead of the Cypher. That's going to be like a free versus free, and the Brimstone will smoke the entrance, right? Uh, we're going to do a proper defensive smoke, and it's the same situation. Now, Omen is still the first contact, but as a Killjoy... He should not be holding this uh, angle. You just go into the smoke because that gives you an ability to stand in a position covered and you still play contact for the omen. And when the omen gets 
gets the contact on the Neon or anyone else, then you just swing from this and try to get as many kills as possible, or even just one. Get one for one. If you start with the kill, well, you're going to go on top and you're going to win, right? You have to be flexible and understand what to do. The worst thing that can happen, of course, is if the player on 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 in the corner is going to get also stunned or like flashed and he cannot reliably get contact, right? Because you're going to have to rely on the minimap instead of his callouts. Uh, when he's flashed, for example, when he's stunned, he's not going to be reliably killing anyone on the first contact because it would be nice if he gets the kill, right? So, so you get he he gets traded and then you get traded on the second player. But it, the reality in ranked is that people have no no respect to the order that people are picking. And let's let's do a different example. Same post plant. Um, let's plant the default this time here, right? Let's move this away, and we're gonna have a different setup on uh, the players. Hello Let's do it like this, mm, even maybe like this, right? So how do you play this? When you're in a situation like this, Omen again is first contact, he gives you info how many players are pushing away, right? Pushing into the site, and he has vision cone that is looking something like this. So he can, he will be able to tell you when someone commits to a very specific angle, right? Where the players are gonna go here. That's the moment he has contact. So when you see a position like this, one of the players would be would be nice if one of the players would reposition to A, if you're able to. Like you can stand on site behind the pillar when you just planted the spike, you can stay here. By playing two in A main, you can't really help the omen in this case, right? But if you're in, in this situation like this, again, you have to be creative. Omen has to be the first contact, but he shouldn't peek after getting the first kill. So let's assume he's going to go in, he's going to kill the Neon, and then he should hide. Even if he's in this corner, it's tough to get him out of this. And now the players from main can help him when he, he will be assaulted by the other players, others will just ignore him, and then play on the contact from the players on A main, and then the Omen reswings. But you always have to respect that the player that gives you the info has to be the first first contact. I'm actually not sure if I explained this correctly. Uh, not correctly, but like transparently for everyone to understand. But hopefully I did my best. Um, I guess that's it. I just wanted to touch one topic and one example uh, on how to play contact and how to be uh, how to be creative about getting countered by a smoke. This is like very basic. This is like the most basic of basics when it comes to playing post plant and who should play where so hopefully i helped you guys and in your ranked games you're gonna be able to call those things out and help and also if you ever set up a crossfire it's also important to understand the line of sight let's make the example for a main right again killjoy plays with omen on crossfire so instead of playing contact you play crossfire that's a separate keyword that we're using right now. Let's assume this is the Omen, right? And if you want to play Crossfire, then you need to see your teammate like this. The problem is you need to understand if the angle actually favors you. Because if someone is going to hunk the corner like this, he might actually see you before you see him. Your, your like leg can be sticking out or something, right? But So if you're low HP, I wouldn't do this exactly. I would rather play Contact. So I'm essentially baiting the omen that is standing in this corner and I just swing and try to trade him when he's getting the contact play. But crossfire is essentially setting up an angle where you see your teammate and you start shooting at the same time so you're both contact players. One of the best examples of playing of playing contact would be heaven, uh, sorry not contact but playing crossfire would be haven on A when a player is in graffiti and one player is in the uh, in the underpass uh, or on the in hell, right? When you play crossfire like this, you have to be very tightly uh, angled so you don't get exposed by a player uh, that is coming out of CT and is not visible by the sova, right? But you set up a line of sight between you and the sova where he, this player has to commit, so he cannot, see, he shouldn't see you when he's standing like this. The omen shouldn't be visible to the chamber from this position. But the Omen should reposition himself that he sees the Sova and the chamber needs to go into line, line of sight of both. Right? 
Otherwise, you just have to play again for contact. And in this case, the Sova is the contact play. If we have, if we have um, a situation like this, the player from short should never be the contact player. The player that is contact here should be the Sova that is playing in Graffiti, and he essentially gives the go mark when the opponents are committed to the retake because they entered the site. All right. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Stop recording.